unfortunately, <clears throat> the, the evening got started a little bit later than I expected, and but that's okay. Um, I hope you all are comfortable, and we've got refreshments and, and food over here, and I hope you things have gone off uh, very well with you tonight. It's been a beautiful weekend. We haven't had this, this nice of a weekend in over two months, and uh, it really sets nice set the night off sets the night off well. Mr. Cleveland. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, this evening takes me back to when I first ran for public office as a state senator in 1970. That's 40 years ago. Good God. I can't believe it. Um, and I didn't, I wasn't fortunate enough to have a, a team leader or any kind of leader around me. So, uh, Brooke, you've got a head start here. And uh, Steve Riley, it's great to see you. And then my friend David Porthris, who came by, and we thank you for, for that. Hi, David. And um, a young man, R.J., who is running for the United States Senate. Uh, and uh, Mr. Ken Hodges, is it? Uh, running for Attorney General. We thank all of you for coming. And uh, well, we, we're here to celebrate a young lady who has uh, got tremendous persistence, which is what I'm told Democrats have to have in Georgia. Um, persistence is one of the keys to success. And uh, if it is the key item in this race, Brooke will win. Uh, it is an uphill race, but uh, she came to my attention last year at the Jefferson Jackson Day dinner uh, when we talked. And she has been persistent in having me come out and uh, be part of her campaign. Uh, she is uh, an extraordinarily capable young woman. Uh, the fact that uh, she has decided to run for public office makes her quite extraordinary. Uh, she's got a great background, and uh, she understands public relations. But more than that, she understands hard work, which is exactly what it takes. Uh, when you run the first time in Georgia, uh, whether it's statewide or for an office like Brooke is running for, uh, it's, it's all guts and no glory. I'll tell you, it's all yard signs, it's all people, it's all organization. And thank you for coming to her kickoff fundraiser. Uh, she will have other fundraisers to talk about. But basically, we uh, in this state need help. Uh, the Republicans have had this state for eight years and screwed it up royally. Yes. Uh, so it's not the fact that any Democrat can win, but someone like Brooke is exactly what we need. Someone who really does care about our communities, about our state and is willing to put themselves on the line for all of us. And she is willing to do that. She has a growing cadre of people, uh, independents, Democrats, Republicans, um, all who understand that we've got to get ourselves out of this mess here in Georgia. And one way to do it is to elect good people like Brooke to public office. <laughs> Gwinnett is an uphill slog, as you know, um, and we appreciate everyone who came here. I think our economy is in deep trouble and will continue to slide, but we Democrats have to put our shoulder to the wheel. This is the year, 2010, uh, for us to make a comeback. Uh, the Republicans have really pretty much uh, thrown the ball into our court, if you want to uh, use the simile that uh, Brooks uh, adds in terms of this fundraiser have uh, put forward. And uh, it's our ball to carry now. It's our ball to carry in the legislature. It's our ball to carry in terms of the statewide uh, offices. And it's our ball to carry in terms of the governor's race. We have a U.S. Senate race here. And uh, we have uh, great candidates who have offered themselves for public life. The, more and more, more and more, it's extremely difficult to be in the public eye. Uh, the moment that you qualify, the moment that you run for anything, uh, you're, you have a target painted on your back. And I understand that. And Brooke understands that. And she's willing to put up with all the stuff that she has to do to run. She has got her wonderful young lady, uh, who is uh, her love of her life, uh, behind her and giving the Pledge of Allegiance today. And her sixth grader is uh, leading this charge. 
And uh, we thank you for that wonderful Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you very much. And she is uh, in statewide, I think, competition for some of her creative activities. It's people like that that we are really in public service for. Uh, that young lady there is what it's all about. And to see us compromising our future uh, for political gain uh, is just untenable. So, um, Brooke, we're delighted that you have taken it upon yourself uh, to hang in there, to uh, be persistent, to be uh, a gadfly, as one of our dear friends Carol has said, um, and to uh, show us all the way that it takes guts and hard work uh, to make real change come about. And God knows this is the year, not only for change we can believe in, but change we need. Ladies and gentlemen, our wonderful candidate, Brooke Devers. I really appreciate that. And yes, I guess I'm